chronic damage to oxidative phosphorylation is the origin of cancer, which can happen by any number of provocative agents. But when you say highly processed, what is highly processed? So the, the issue, of course, is that these are foods that are high in glucose, high in sugar, and they have no nutritional value. They're with minimal nutritional value, but high in sugar. Now, don't forget, we evolved uh, as a starved species. I mean, our whole existence on the planet has been trying to survive famine. We move around. We, we had to bring tools with us to, to, to get the food that, that we needed. Our, our physiology and our genome is ultimately driven to store energy. So uh, because we were always starving. Now we put ourselves within the last um, you know, 50, 75, 100 years into a, a state of massive amounts of carbohydrates that have no nutritional value. Um, and that puts, that again causes your inflammation, your obesity, your type 2 diabetes, your cardiovascular disease. So you're absolutely right, Sanjay. This is all part of a continuum. In our metabolic approach to cancer management and the folks that are following our, our instructions, many of these folks come in with cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and all these other kinds of things. And by the way, that all goes away along with their cancer. You know, you're talking about a very dangerous situation here. And a, a point in fact was the recent paper that came out on the Medi Mediterranean diet reducing cancer, uh, dementia, and cardiovascular disease. And it's not the Mediterranean diet. It's the absence of highly processed carbohydrate foods, which are not part of the Mediterranean diet.